What is the easiest, fastest way to accept Bitcoin? I found CoinOS to be a Bitcoin solution that makes it the easiest, fastest way you can accept Bitcoin. My name's Darren. I like to help individuals and businesses make use of Bitcoin in the easiest way possible. Played around and set up a lot of different ways you can accept Bitcoin as a business. We're gonna cover all the ways to accept Bitcoin as a business, what you need to accept Bitcoin, what CoinOS is, the solution it provides, setup, sign up process, accepting Bitcoin, how to use it properly. And at the end, I'm gonna show you how you might get some extra business by accepting Bitcoin today. Before we get to the video, I got a sponsor now. MrSatoshi.com. They make premium Bitcoin apparel. I've always wanted to rep some Bitcoin merch, but the problem I found was they're either all way too cheesy or it's hard to know what you're gonna order isn't complete shit. Mr. Satoshi has some clean, not over the top looks, designs that are going to be quality from shirts, hats, hoodies. They do monthly giveaways of 1.5 million sats. Here's all the ways you can enter and the link is in the description. Use my referral code and you get 15% off your entire order, whatever you order on the site. And let's get back to it. Bitcoin has millions of users around the world and is growing each day. People are getting paid in Bitcoin and businesses are starting to accept it as payment. It's a money that has no middleman, no credit card fees. When you take it as payment, it's yours. Easiest way you can accept Bitcoin today is to have a Bitcoin wallet. This is just an app you can download on your phone, a device you can get. If you're just one person, this is all you need. You copy your receiving address, put the amount you want to receive, and this is kind of like an invoice. However, the problem is if you have multiple employees working different shifts, they would all need to have access to that one individual wallet. Having access to that individual wallet allows them to have access to their funds to send whomever or themselves. So we need to find a solution like a payment processor or an account where you log in, have a shared password with users to have that functionality, but maybe only the admin has the ability to send that Bitcoin to another individual or to themselves. So there are great solutions out there like BTC Pay Server. This is a beast of a payment processor. It is open source. You can add multiple different products, have multiple different accounts, different wallets to send to, and it runs 24 seven for you to have online payments. The problem with this is the setup process. This involves installation, possibly buying some extra hardware because you need this to be running on a server 24 seven for you to accept Bitcoin payments all the time. This is a great solution for a large e-commerce business, don't get me wrong. But for the average person, mom and pop shop, there are better things that you can turn to. These are accounts like uh, BitPay or an open node. The negatives with this are the setup and the fees they charge. This is pretty much equivalent to a Bitcoin Stripe account, a Bitcoin PayPal account, where they take all of your information business information, banking information, tie it all to you and charge high fees for doing this payment processor. What we need is something in the middle of these giant payment processors and a Bitcoin app wallet. And Coinos is the perfect solution for this. Coinos is essentially a Bitcoin web wallet. It can be accessed from any web browser you choose, whether your phone, on your computer, tablet. It accepts Bitcoin and layer two of Bitcoin, which is the Lightning Network. This is important because Bitcoin purchases done on the Lightning Network are settled instantly. Without getting into it, all you really need to know is most people looking to spend Bitcoin are looking to spend it on the Lightning Network to save the time it takes to settle in both yours or their accounts. Now you do need to know that they are a custodial platform. This is something you'd be used to like PayPal or Stripe where they hold your money until you ask them to send it into your bank account. Now it's the same thing with Bitcoin. You might have your own personal Bitcoin wallet or a corporate Bitcoin wallet. The payments will be received, collected on the Coinos account until you ask for them to be moved to another location that's 100% in your control. But this is a risk you take with every account when you use PayPal, when you use a Stripe, when you use a Square. And Coinos has the ability to withdraw any time and it happens within seconds. So to start with Coinos, we need to make an account. This is where it sets itself apart in my opinion. And this is the privacy. All you need is a username and password to get started. Now in OpenNode or BitPay, you're going to need to provide all of your address, your banking information, your business information in order to use that platform. And that's all you need to do. It was that easy to sign up. I'm ready to accept Bitcoin. Now there's no need to get a payment terminal, wait for your Square or anything like that. Because this is a web app, all you need is access to a phone, tablet, a computer. And so for my case, I'm going to show you how it works on the iPad. Because this is kind of what I see at a farmer's market or coffee shop. They usually spin you an iPad around or a cell phone around. All you're going to need is to have connection to the internet. And this is typically a SIM card that would be placed in it anyway. So here's the home screen. What you have to do to accept the payment is that you have to manually put in what you want to receive. So you're going to choose payment request and how much you want to receive. The amount you see will be listed in Satoshi's. So this is one 
one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin, and it will also show you how much dollars you have there. So this populates an invoice. It's lightning by default, but you can switch it back to the Bitcoin chain if you'd like. Typically, Bitcoin transactions are not confirmed until 10 minutes. That is if you paid the highest fee. Sometimes it can be even longer than that if your customer doesn't pay a high fee. So that's what the Lightning Network brings is that instant settlement. After you choose your chain, you show this QR code to your customer. The customer brings up their own wallet and scans that QR code. They then make the payment by pressing send on their side. And you now received your payment. You can head back to the home screen, see all your payments for the day, month, year, all time. And choose the payment, shows all your details. As you can see, the payee paid the fees for this transaction, not you. The Bitcoin that you have on your account can sit here indefinitely, but again, they're custodial. So they're holding your Bitcoin for you. So the best practice is to move it into your own wallet. You can be paid either on the Lightning Network or the Bitcoin Network. So I'm pulling up my Lightning Wallet, my receive address on my personal Lightning Wallet. You then choose the amount that you want to send. You can choose the settings and fees when sending. It will load and show a successful payment. Now you receive Bitcoin back into your own personal wallet. Now these fees are a lot better than your credit card fees. If you were to take a thousand dollars in transactions, you would probably pay this much credit card fees along with your depreciating asset. If you were to take a thousand dollars in payment over the last 12 months of Bitcoin, these would be the fees you would have and this would be the total Bitcoin value you'd have today. Now here's a settings feature where you can choose your username, display name, change all of your images, banner profile, etc. You can actually change to different currencies. So this can be used anywhere throughout the world, different languages. The security section is important because you can change your password and create a two-factor authentication for logging in. Where it really sets itself apart is the security pin. So you can create this pin to send outgoing payments when withdrawing to your own personal or corporate wallet. So this would allow you to give your login credentials to an employee to use while you're not there. So that's all you need to start accepting Bitcoin today. This is a great tool that makes it a lot easier than you running a server 24 seven to accept Bitcoin payments. Now there are some negatives or limitations of Coinos. For example, it's all a manual input. So if I wanted to sell t-shirts, tickets, anything online with e-commerce, I wish there was a product section where you could add multiple products that would just be priced based on an amount that you put in. People could click on each product. So for an e-commerce solution, this really isn't a great option. They are custodial. So don't be keeping a lot of money on here. Just kind of sweep it out from time to time. Now, accepting Bitcoin, you can actually attract a lot of new customers. From the Bitcoin community, I know they're always looking for people and places who accept Bitcoin for goods or services. A lot of those paying customers will go out of the way to do so. If you're a business who started with Coinos or looking to use it, send me a message or put it in the comments below. Actually met a bunch of the developers at an event. They actually help promote your business if you sign up with them, let them know that you're using Coinos. They'll promote you on their social media channels and uh, put you on btcmap.org. This is a great place to see who's accepting Bitcoin in your area, with your permission, of course. I got lots more videos on how to accept Bitcoin as a business, how to store Bitcoin properly, what are the best places to buy and sell Bitcoin if you wanted to take those funds and sell them right away. There's great solutions out there to do so. I got videos on my channel for all that and uh, thanks for watching.